Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this 3D flip card effect to your WordPress website. So let's get started. I have a video on designing this from scratch using HTML and CSS. So you can watch that. I will leave the link in the description below. And I also have a video on how to add this to your blogger website. So if you want to watch that, you can watch that as well. So let's add this to our WordPress website. And uh, I have already logged into my WordPress dashboard. Now the first thing we'll do is uh, we will add the CSS. And we'll be using a plugin called Custom CSS NGS for this. So just go to plugins and click on add new. And then just search for custom JS. And you can find this plugin by silkypress.com. It is called Simple Custom CSS and JS. So just go ahead and install that and activate it. I have already activated the plugin. Once you have activated the plugin, you can find a new menu called Custom CSS and JS. So in that, just go ahead and click on Add Custom CSS. This will add custom CSS code to our WordPress theme. So here we can add a title for us to recognize it later. So we'll just add a title called 3D Flip. And uh, here we will add our CSS. So go to the source code. The link of the source code will be available in the description below. So just go ahead and copy everything from here. And paste it over here. And after that, go to the right. And uh, here we can see some options. The linking type is internal and uh, where on page it should be set to header and where in the site and it should be set to in front end. So everything is all right. Now let's click on publish. All right, we have added the CSS. Now the last thing we need to do is add a page or a post and then add our HTML. So in our case, we will add a page and uh, we'll create a new page. So we'll click on add new. And for the title, we can just type our contributors. And then by default, you may not be having this HTML mode right here. So you may have to go to this options button and then click on code editor. So in the beginning, it will be defaulted to visual editor. So this thing right here. So you have to go to options and then click on code editor. Or you can even use this uh, shortcut right here. So once you're in code editor, you can just copy and paste your HTML right here. So let's go to our um, index.html file and we'll just copy this division called flip box container. And uh, just paste it over here. Our code has been copied. Now the last thing we need to do is uh, change the SRC of our images. Right now it is set to images slash the name of our image file. But we haven't uploaded this to our web server, so the page doesn't know which image to access. So we have to first of all upload the image to the web server and then add the link of that image right here. We have to do that with all the other images as well. So let's go back to the dashboard. And we can see this option called media right here. So just go ahead and click on add new. And here you can drag and drop your files. So let's open the project folder and let's go to images. And these are all the images we want. Let's select everything and let's drag them over here. And all our images have been uploaded. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to add the links of these images to our HTML. So let's start with team member one and just click on this edit button right here. And here you can find all the information of the image. And on the right here, we can see the link of the image, the file URL. So just copy everything and go to our HTML. And in place of the team member one, we can paste the URL of that image. So just select this and paste it right here. We'll do the same with all the other images. So I'll just fast forward this process.
and then all these three images are the same so we can just copy these uh, anchor tags from here and uh, paste them over here now you have to of course change the href over here according to the person all right all the images have been updated now let's click on publish and our page has been published let's click on view page and uh, let's see whether everything is working all right and we can see that the cards are working all right the flip effect is also working but uh, we have some problems over here and uh, we also have a problem of the height so we have to increase the height of this whole container division and then we'll also see what is causing these images to be one below the other so let's right click over here and click on inspect and uh, let's go to the parent division social icons and if you take a look at the HTML we can see that the first image is under an anchor tag and then we have a paragraph for some reason and uh, then the next image is under another paragraph so somehow paragraphs got attached to our HTML so let's go back to our page and um, let's see if everything is alright now the problem here is that uh, we can see after every anchor tag we have a line break and also some space so whenever we have a line break or a space in this case WordPress automatically adds a paragraph to that so let's remove the line break and the space from here so so let's do that with both the anchor tags and uh, we'll do that with the second card as well And I think that should solve the problem. So let's go ahead and update. All right, let's go to our page and uh, let's refresh our page. And now we can see everything is working all right. Now we also need to add a fixed height to our container division. So let's go back to uh, the dashboard and let's go to custom CSS and JS and go to all custom codes and then we'll edit this 3d flip code and uh, let's add a height of say 350 pixels and uh, let's update All right now let's go ahead and uh, refresh our page and now we can see we have the correct height so everything is working all right so that's basically it for this video. This is how you add a 3D flip effect to your cards in your WordPress website. So if you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.